five diplomats and staff members assigned to them. That's more than the combined staffs of the next two largest missions, the American and the Chinese. In its reduction order, the U.S. government said that number poses a threat to U.S. national security, since the Soviet U.N. missions have unfortunately continued to engage in activities unrelated to U.N. business, including espionage. A Soviet defector who was a high-ranking U.N. official says up to 40% of the people assigned to the Soviet missions do some spying. Their operations are the, uh, the largest. Uh, and uh, uh, they are really most cynical, and the, the contingents of the Soviet uh, intelligence people at the, uh, the United Nations is, is the biggest one. There is no, no question about it. They're really abusing the United Nations. The Soviet delegates and their families all live in a Soviet housing complex just north of Manhattan. Under the terms of the directive, their number is to be reduced in phases to a total of 170 by April 1st, 1988. The Soviet news agency TASS denounced the U.S. decision as a hostile and provocative act, but made no mention of possible Soviet retaliation. Officials here said there's no significance to the timing of this decision, which has been under discussion for years. But one source suggested that at a time of federal budget cutting, the FBI doesn't have the manpower to keep track of all the Soviet spies operating in this country. So the administration decided that if it couldn't have more agents, it could have fewer spies. Richard Valeriani, NBC News, at the State Department. Out in space, a Japanese space probe is getting close to Halley's Comet within about 89,000 miles of the comet. That's apparently close in astronomical terms. The probe will take pictures of the hydrogen atoms around the nucleus of Halley's Comet, and scientists say we could be in for some dazzling photos. How about those photos would be something to see? Maybe we'll get oh, to see yes, some. Oh, probably much better than what you could see through the telescope. Oh, I'm back sure. Couple months much ago. Better. <laughs> sure. And our temperatures are much better than they have been. Yeah, they are. And they're getting warmer all the time, especially if you look west. Look out there at Scotts Bluff, 71 degrees, 77 up in Valentine. Our temperatures around the Siouxland area, however, were confined to the 50s and even the 40s, like Spencer at 41 degrees, 46 degrees in Sioux Falls, 62, though, out in Pickstown, South Dakota. So, uh, pretty warm on the Siouxland side, but uh, as you work your way to the east, you can see even 30s, like Waterloo, and uh, also 30s up in Minnesota and beyond. So temperature is definitely warmer to the west of us, and as we look at the temperatures around here at this hour, 38 degrees in Spencer, 39 here in Sioux City, 44, however, out in Yankton, with even 48 degrees in both Omaha and Norfolk. And with that current temperature here in Sioux City at 39, 73% relative humidity, a southeast wind at 14 miles an hour, barometers on the fall. Satellite shows us, and we're backing way up once again, to show you the movement of the cloud cover. Of course, a lot of clearing out here over portions of Nebraska, but a lot of areas and a lot of patches of clouds all moving to the east throughout the area, and it looks like we're going to be plagued with the clouds throughout tonight, but that helps to hold the temperatures up. So we've got a blanket over us right now and temperatures aren't going to be dropping off that much. Mid-30 is about the lowest that you'll see throughout the night. Anyway, no precipitation showing up on that, but if you look out to the west, you can see plenty of cloud cover over the Rockies and even over the western portions of the country. And we'll go to radar right now and show you that there's plenty of rain showing up underneath those clouds, all the way from the Rockies into the west coast. Heavy rains over California causing some flood problems and some flash flood watches. Also, some winter storm watches out winter storm warnings, I should say, for southern Idaho mountains and also in the mountains of Colorado, where they could be receiving up to 6 to 12 inches through tonight. But over here in the Siouxland area, really not that much going on as of yet, but it's all moving our way. Now we'll go to the national map and show you that that frontal system associated with it and a low pressure system is what's causing all that precipitation out there. Temperatures, though, a mite warmer on the far side of that front, 57 degrees still in Denver, Compare that to 40 degrees in Des Moines at this hour and 42 up in Bismarck. So it's bringing something this way. We could be seeing some thunderstorms along with that tomorrow as the temperatures will be definitely be warm enough. And then it moves through here tomorrow, brings us chances of precipitation, a little bit of snow for South Dakota, but mostly rain throughout the Siouxland area. And then the forecast through tonight calls for mostly cloudy conditions. About 36 for an overnight low, south winds continuing, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Throughout tomorrow morning, a possibility of a sprinkle by that time, and temperatures anywhere from the mid-30s up to the lower 40s throughout the time period, southeast winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. And then for the rest of the day tomorrow, well, 25% chance of a shower in here, and those just increase as the day wears on. Winds out of the southeast to east, 15 to 25 miles an hour, and then near 51 degrees for a high temperature for us tomorrow. 
25 minutes after 6 o'clock for the sunset tomorrow evening and as we get into the extended we do have possibilities of rain throughout tomorrow night on into Monday morning and it looks like we do have possibility of a little bit of clearing toward uh, Monday afternoon but most of the rain should be in the morning hours cooler temperatures definitely behind that low pressure system in the lower 40s in here and then they start to warm up a little bit again on Tuesday more rain chances of it on Wednesday and Thursday so it looks like we're gonna be kind of in and out of it those uh, low pressure systems moving in through here those darn low pressure systems <laughs> looks like a <laughs> oh, kind of a wet week actually uh -huh. yeah it okay. does but warm at least right all right thanks john still headed news center four we'll take you around the world where women were being honored today including here in siouxland you could use dyphony for your corn but it won't stop white grubs or flea beetles new low odor thymet controls those pests and more guaranteed you could use lore's band but Thymet beats Lors Band for rootworm control. And Thymet insecticide has systemic action too. Why pay more for Furidan when Thymet gives better rootworm control? Tear into Thymet this year and save two to five dollars per acre. Better performance and a lower price. That's the Thymet bonus. Parks Marina of Okaboji will be at the Convention Center in South Sicily, Nebraska, March 6th through the 9th. Come see the incredible 1986 Yamaha Outboards and 1986 Wellcraft, Sunbird, Boston Whaler, and Crestliners. Parks Marina is one of the largest dealers in the Midwest and have a huge selection of pleasure and fishing boats. They will show you the entire line of Yamaha Outboards from 2 to 220 horsepower, the only outboard with a two-year warranty. Parks Marina opens seven days a week year-round. Come see us at the Convention Center in South Sicily, Nebraska, March 6th through the 9th. Get the best of both worlds on a new car deal with low 9.9% .9 financing and cash rebates only from Friendly Ford. Get 9.9% .9 financing plus $1,000 rebates on Crown Victorias and Thunderbirds. 9.9% .9 financing and $750 back on Bronco 2s or $300 back on Escorts, Mustangs and Ranger pickups at 9.9%. Check the newspaper for the complete list of savings, but don't miss the best of both worlds sale. 9.9% .9 financing and cash rebates only from Friendly Ford. On the next edition of Our Magazine, Mary Fran, the woman of the hour, tells Gary Collins why she enjoys dating younger men. Age doesn't matter. The only age that matters is your emotional age. Plus, we'll take you to Vermont for a stay at the real New Heart Inn, the first part of a special week-long series on how to become stress-proof. And Lori Burroughs grad on Our Magazine, Monday at 4 on KTIV Channel 4. International Women's Day was celebrated around the world today. This was the scene in Moscow. Slava! Slava! The Soviet Union celebrated at the Communist Party Congress and attacked the United States for denying women's rights. They said American women are second-class citizens. In India, Muslim women protested a bill that would take away some of their rights. And in Paris, women march to protest against what they view as international torture and all forms of warfare. Here in Siouxland, the annual Women of Excellence Awards were handed out today. These were the winners in five categories. Beulah Webb for Women Taking Risks, Carolyn Goodwin for Women Striving for Equality and Peace, Ruth Green honored for Women Working Creatively, Elaine Subert for Women Pursuing Truth, and Carol Wasmuth, winner of Women Helping Women. Over 500 people attended the ceremonies at the Marina Inn today. The Iowa Hawkeyes were winners today. You bet, Steve. We'll have highlights of that also. The Muskies and Thunder Bay are going into OT. We'll have some highlights from there also. Of the three leading corn insecticides, only Diphonate gives you control without compromise. Control of both rootworms and cutworms. Counter compromises on cutworms by just suppressing them. And when it comes to rootworms, Lorsband compromises on consistency of control. Only Diphonate doesn't compromise on either rootworms or cutworms. Diphonate. Control without compromise. Guaranteed. Dream time for Wells Blue Bunny. In the land of fruit where everything's yummy. The freshest and sweetest, he grabs it by the bunch. He's dreaming up a flavor, the special this month. Exquisite cream cheese and cinnamon apple ice cream, delicately laced with a luxuriant applesauce. French apple cream cheese ice cream will have your taste buds talking with an accent. Vive le bunny. 
how to eat a blue bunny, no trick to it. Open up a carton, dig in, and do it. Whales, get your taste buds hopping. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all the Chrysler Plymouth cars that you bought from us. Your Chrysler Plymouth dealers would like to say... Thanks! For a great sales year with 7.5% financing or $500 cash back on Plymouth Horizon, you could save up to $835 with 7.5% financing. Thank you very, very, very much. See your Upper Midwest Chrysler Plymouth dealer. The Iowa Boys High School playoffs continue tonight with games in Hall and Denison. In Hall tonight, Unity Christian avenged their only loss of the season to Sioux Center, defeating them tonight. 70 to 56 to advance to the state and also in Denison tonight Ida Grove's playoffs hopes were dimmed tremendously tri-center 78 to 41 over Ida Grove in Hull this evening Sioux Center and Hull Western in Hull Unity Christian the dark uniforms for Sioux Center Tim Boyack on the jumper there as both teams exchange buckets early Unity Christian with revenge on their minds Tim Papama down the lane for the three-point play Rob Crows for Unity downtown the swish as Unity was in control, big inside game for Unity. Kurt Warrior follows up this miss. Unity Christian advances to the state tournament with their 70-56 to 56 win over Sioux Center. The Nebraska Girls State Tournament concluded today in Lincoln with some good news and bad news for area teams. This afternoon in C2, Johnson Brock defeated Wausau 34-27 for the C2 championship. C1 this afternoon, Battle Creek third straight C1 championship. Mary Snitchler had 16, 50 to 41, Battle Creek over Sutton. And tonight, Hardington Cedar Catholic brings home a championship for Class B, 45 to 38 over previously unbeaten Wood River. They'll have a homecoming tomorrow at three o'clock for the champion Hardington Cedar Catholic ladies. In hockey tonight, the Sioux City Musketeers were out to end their quarterfinal series with Thunder Bay. But as we can see, it didn't come easy. It's not coming easy at all. As a matter of fact, right now they're tied 3-3 heading into OT. A defensive struggle this evening at the auditorium. Both goaltenders playing great in the net. Now, in the two previous games, Sioux City had won 7-3 and 8-1. So it looked like tonight might be a runaway. But right now, the Musketeers and Thunder Bay are tied going into overtime 3-3. With a win tonight over Purdue, the Iowa Hawkeyes would have a 20-win season and a probable bid to the NCAA basketball tournament. But with a loss, the Hawks just might have been looking at the NIT bid instead. But Iowa gets the win, and it looks like maybe the NCAAs. Marble Iowa led throughout the first half. Yeah. Freshman Roy Marble on the inside move, 29-27 Hawks. And Purdue coach Gene Cady not liking it a bit. There, Another nice. freshman for Iowa, a nice inside game today. Ed Horton on the turnaround jumpers. The Hawks led 31-27 at this point. A big night for senior Andre Banks. A career-high 23 points as Iowa led 39-32 at the intermission. In the second half, Purdue made a run, but Iowa behind Horton on this follow-up miss. This bucket made it 43-40 Iowa. Purdue then took a brief lead, but the Hawks were not to be denied this evening. Iowa on the break. Gary Wright jams. The Hawks were up 55-50 then. After that, all Hawkeyes. Maybe the NCAAs after all. Iowa 77-64 to over Purdue. It'll be Iowa State and Kansas tomorrow for the Big 8 postseason basketball title. Kansas defeated. Okay, we'll go to the highlights. There we go, Oklahoma and Kansas. The Sooners tie it 70 to 70. David Johnson on the follow-up, but Danny Manning's two free throws in the end win it as Kansas defeats Oklahoma 72-70. There's the jumper at the end, Anthony Bowie in and out. Oklahoma loses. Iowa State used Sam Hill's inside game and Jeff Hornacek from the outside. As they down Nebraska 75 to 58 to advance to the Big Eight Finals tomorrow. Another college basketball this afternoon, Memphis State. In the Metro, defeated Florida State 73-71. And Louisville in the Metro, 86-65. Memphis State and Louisville for the championship tomorrow. In the ACC, Duke will meet Georgia Tech. Duke defeated Virginia 75-70. Georgia Tech edge Maryland 64-62. Kentucky is the Southeastern Conference champion after their 83-72 win over Alabama. UNLV by 20 to win the Pacific Coast Athletic Association Conference. Syracuse. Got beat tonight by St. John's 70-69 in the Big East final. Notre Dame over Dayton 69-65. Another college action. There's your Kansas-Oklahoma score and Iowa State-Nebraska score. Michigan defeated Indiana 80-52 to win the Big Ten. Illinois over Minnesota 73-64. And Michigan State of the Big Ten victorious by 20 over Ohio State 91-71. Syracuse in the red and St. John's, the Big 8 championship chip. Syracuse led 39-28 at the intermission. The second half, all St. John's. Dan Rowan's 
Bucket and Syracuse led only by 167-66. Syracuse's Pearl Washington had a chance to ice it, but misses the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. And it was 69-68 Syracuse. But Walter Berry had the board, and St. John's called timeout. Dan Rowan coming up the baseline jumper. That made it 70-69 to St. John's in the last seven seconds. And after that, St. Uh, Syracuse came down. The Pearl had a shot. It was blocked. The final in the Big East, Big East Championship, 70 to 69, St. John's. In golf, Hubert Green birdied five straight holes on the front nine and takes a two-stroke lead over Tom Kite in tomorrow's final round. Kite shot a 29 on the front nine to take command in the Doral Open. Women's golf, Jill Inkster and Marcy Bozarth shared the third round lead in the Kemper Open. And in basketball tomorrow, at Alley Gym, it's going to be a benefit basketball game. The Siouxland Media All-Stars will be taking on the Superland 86ers. 2.30 at Alley Gym. Benefits go to the Morningside baseball team. And in hockey this afternoon, the Metros lost in the JV tournament 6-1 to to Waterloo Public. And then they won against Ames 3-2. to They will play tomorrow against Urbandale. And Steve, one final note tonight, the Elk Point girls finished third in the volleyball tournament in, in South Dakota. Okay, any chance we might get a Muskies update right after this break? I'll see if Dave Chop can do if that If our favorite me. sports intern, Jay, Dave Chop, is listening, we need a score. <laughs> We're going to be back in just a second. Stay with us. Few things in livestock production are guaranteed. You can't count on interest rates, weather, or market prices. But there's one way to minimize your risk. Feed the only feed that's so good is guaranteed. See your Kent Feeds dealer for research-proven Kent Feeds. He's the man with the guarantee. Rayford, now that Aid Insurance has changed its name to the Allied Group, will they still cover a dent in the fender? Oh, sure, the Allied Group cover a dent in the fender. How'd the fender get in it? TV set. Huh? Fireman threw it out of the house. House is a fire. If our sparks from the garage set it off, I think, but we're covered by the Allied Group, ain't we? Well, it's a good thing, too. How'd the garage catch on fire? Well, you know that big stack of oily rags you told me to clean up? Of course I do. They're gone. How'd they be gone? Spontaneous confusion. How about spontaneous contusion? Is that covered by the Allied Group? We'll see. <laughs> All right! When tough Cockleburg gets tougher to control in corn, get all the power you need to stop your toughest broadleaves in reduced tillage corn. Overpower broadleaves with Banvel herbicide. Get tough Cockleburg control in corn clear to canopy with less stress and better yields than 2,4-D. Overpower broadleaves with Banvel herbicide. He's suing his ex-wife. And a judge awarded my furniture to me. The defendant disagrees. The dinette set was purchased before I married Mr. Gelman, and the china closet, as the bedroom set, was purchased afterwards, which it states on the back of that mirror. We were married June the 8th, and it states on the back of that, received September 1st, 1980. On The People's Court. Monday at 5 on KTIV Channel 4. John's staying pretty warm around here tonight. Yeah, and it's going to be as warm, if not warmer, for us tomorrow. As we can see, 51 degrees, 25% chance of a shower, though. It always has to bring something in here when it gets warmer. And then it looks like it's going to cool off for months.